How's it going guys, Neo Gino here, and uh, this is my pickups video from AVGC, a video game con 2019. <laughs> Let's start off with uh, literally the first thing I bought, and this was Friday night when I was setting up. Uh, the vendor right next to me had this. Uh, my boy's from Long Island, and it's Slam Ooh, Street Sharks figure. You know I love this shit. Um, Definitely pumped to add this. This is one of Slam Moves variants I didn't have. Um, another thing I also got the same night was off my boy Paul Solomine. Um, this is a complete in box Neo Geo Pro Controller Bean Controller. It looks like brand new inside. Definitely, this one controller I didn't have. I'm definitely glad to have this complete in box. Uh, the next day started off pretty good. Uh, Definitely the, the con was really good. I had a good time down there a lot of people I guess didn't do too well, but I did great. I don't know why maybe uh, I Don't know not my problem, but uh, One game I got I got this actually off Paul as well TV sports basketball uh, For turbo graphics just a cheap game. I didn't have yet uh, I actually got this uh, The vendors right next to me. It was the Lake Brothers Johnny and Chris uh, awesome dudes. They always have a lot of cool shit. A lot of stuff they always have. Um, and I got Silent Debuggers. Another Turbo Graphics game. And Eurodyne. Another Turbo Graphics game. And definitely an uncommon Sega CD game. My Paint. Uh, I hope it's better than Colored Dinosaur. I'm definitely going to try to check this out. See how bad it is. I'm sure it's pretty shitty. But definitely still interested in it. Um, I also got off Johnny. Uh, some uh, loose uh, boxes he had for uh, Jaguar and uh, I got uh, Super Burnout and I War and the funny thing about this I War and today is the 9-11 uh, uh, I actually picked up a cart for this I didn't have the cart so now I have the box and cart I need the manual for it so that's kind of cool uh, picked that up today actually um, Another vendor that was there was my boy Dan Ungar for Best Buds. And I picked up, I'm not really sure how you say this, Vig's Tactical Gladiator. Not really sure what this is. Turbo Graphics game, a game I didn't have. Uh, I'm going to check it out. Uh, speaking about my Turbo Graphics, I actually had a, a guy I recently read at Long Island Retro Game Con. I was introduced by my boy Chris, Mark, and uh, Mike Bird, um, George per Portugal. He recapped my Turbo Duo for me, and I want to give him a big shout out. Thanks, uh, awesome dude, hooked me up on this big time. Glad to have this completely back working now. Don't need to worry about it. Super, super awesome system right there, without a doubt. And thanks, thanks George for that, without a doubt. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, let's go with the uh, Mike Bird sent my boy Chris to me. He brought me a couple things. He brought me Alien Crush, a game I did not have for Turbo Graphics. He also brought me some junky Saturn games I don't have, but if you want the whole set, you need them. Uh, kind of uncommon, I would say. Um, Major League Players, bottom of the ninth. Um, bases loaded, 96 double header. Those two games, I would say, they're kind of uncommonish. Uh, this game is super common, just didn't have it. NFL Quarterback Club 97. Complete trash. But, you want the whole set, you need it. This game is definitely uncommon. Uh, super surprised how much it goes for online. Um, every system has one of these. Junk ass game. Completely shit. And it's usually always a sports game and it's always worth money. NES has like pro sports hockey. Um trying to think uh 32x has the baseball game um neo geo has neo turf masters i'm sure they have other games than that but like they're all high-end stupid games that are junk and for some reason they demand a lot of money for no reason this one's not a ton of money but it's still up there and that is all-star baseball 97 featuring uh who's it frank thomas for some reason, this game's like $120. 80 to 120 No reason why. Superman copy. 
Mike hooked me up on this. I want to thank him with the video game training post. He owns it. He's awesome. Chris is awesome, dude. Um, not as expensive as Winning Post and not probably as bad. That game's probably actually playable. Winning Post is shit. And I will always stand by that statement. If you got that as a kid, you were pissed without a doubt. Who wants to play a horse racing simulator? Nobody. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, directly across from me, there's a guy selling magic cards. And uh, he didn't have anything like super, super crazy. But he definitely did give me a deal. And uh, I picked up... Um, I just built slivers for a commander uh, deck. I got a venomous sliver. Didn't have that one. Pretty cool. I got... These cards are all pretty mint. And uh, I got Hydro Blast, an old Ice Age card, another Hydro Blast, uh, a Brainstorm, and another Brainstorm. And he had this card there, which was definitely underpriced, and it was a Secluded Glen, which is a Fairyland. Uh, he, he had $4 on this card alone. He gave me all these cards for 7 bucks. This card's worth at least 15 so... Definitely cool to have them. Uh, another vendor that was there, I got, um, uh, was uh, Paul Trudy and his boy. I don't know his boy's name, but they, they go to a lot of shows. Paul runs too many games. Awesome convention in Oaks, PA. And uh, they had this Ghost Lop, AES Neo Geo game. Uh, super, it was an unreleased game, and this is the only reason why I did buy it, because it was unreleased. I did a trade for this and a little bit of cash, uh, but I'm glad to add this collection. I'm gonna check it out and uh, see what it's all about. See why it never, obviously, see why it never came out. Maybe there's a reason why. Maybe not. I don't know, but definitely gonna check that out. Um, that was actually the only AS game or Neo Geo game I got there, sadly. But can't always have winners. Um, off a of vendor there, I picked up Cabal, a box. For that I needed a box and I picked up this a box and and the manual and the cart was in here I bought this literally for the price of pretty much a damaged cart the guy gave me this for 30 bucks uh, it was complete in box the cart alone goes for about 60 so now I have the box of manual and I already flipped the cart out of that and I'm happy about that uh, of another vendor that was there I picked this up this was uh I was kind of pissed after I bought it because I didn't realize I already had the disc to it, but it doesn't matter. It's not something I'd want to piece together. And that's a complete in box mint vey. Uh, another working designs title, uh, Sega CD. Um, starting to go up in price a little bit. All this stuff is. Uh, maybe I'll check it out one day. Highly doubt it. I'm not into RPGs, as you all know, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so I do have an extra disc for that, so if anyone needs it. Um... Of those same guys, I got them to split this apart. Uh, I was very surprised they even did it. They gave me an awesome fucking deal on it, too. And that is a Power Blade 2 manual. It's all I needed to complete my Power Blade 2. Uh, super happy to have this. They gave me an awesome deal. 80 bucks I paid, I think. Um, that's fucking nuts. Like, honestly. I can't, I can't. That, that like, makes me so happy because I never thought I'd get the manual that easily. Uh, never even seen a manual for it, honestly. So that definitely uh, helped me out there. Um, also, off those same guys. Uh, actually, we'll save that for later because that's a better game and we'll wait. Um, off my boy Joe Suff and Richard and all them boys from Long Island, I picked up this gem of a game without a doubt. And that is fucking Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Super, super stupid. Uh, I don't even know what I can say about this. It's just a fucking ridiculous, ridiculous thing. And uh, if Joe Ross had this, I'm sure he'd be looking at it like this. Like, but who knows? Stupid, stupid game. Real stupid. Um, off one vendor I got there. Uh, actually, this was off of uh, Frank. He was walking around this trade box, and I did a trade for uh, 
something that he had in his box. It's not mint, it's not the best, but it's something I definitely upgrade, and I have it now, and uh, I'm pretty sure I can get the two stickers off of it uh, without damaging it, and I'm uh, definitely glad to add this to my collection. And that was a Dracula Xbox. Like I said, it's not mint. I could definitely get that sticker off, and I get the one off that's on the back. But uh, definitely something to have, you know. For what I traded for it, I'm completely fine with this. I, like I said, I'll still look for a better one, and I can always get rid of this. I usually come by carts occasionally, and uh, definitely want to thank him for adding that to my collection. The one other game that I got is uh, In the Hunt. I got this off of Frank. He gave me an awesome deal on it. Uh, actually, I was playing this last night, and I'm uh, pretty pissed off because I almost got pissed off and didn't want to play the game. I didn't know that this... This game has a notorious problem with it doesn't like to load up with the controller in on some of them. So I had to look that up and figure out why the game wouldn't turn on. I was getting a little pissed off, but the game's awesome. It was made by, supposed to be by the guys that made Metal Slug. This was one of their first games they did, and it's an awesome shooter. Definitely check this out. It's going to probably just keep going up in value. Um, there was a vendor there that had a ton of shit, and... Uh, I pretty much went over and cleaned him completely out of, uh, I would say of all of his good stuff, but a lot of it. And um, he threw this in for free for all that I bought. That's Double Dungeons for TurboGrafx-16. Uh, just a cheap game. But uh, he had all of this. Uh, and these are all mint, super nice uh, Fighters Mega Mix for Sega Saturn. Trying to get that uh, full Saturn collection, as you guys know. Uh, definitely an uncommon game. You don't see much. Quake. Uh, probably gonna, definitely gonna try a lot of these out. Um, another awesome game that actually looks really good. Rayman. So, like I said, these are all, like, super, super mint. Uh, I got this game. Awesome. Uh, I already had it for the Japanese version. So now I have a reason to sell that, because I have the real one I wanted, Galactic Attack. In Japan, it's called Lair Section, but awesome, awesome shooter. Definitely glad to have this. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes, I had this for CPS2, but still need this, and uh, awesome game, awesome fighter. I also picked up Albert Odyssey, game I'll probably never play, but, you know, working designs, all that bullshit. But, um, awesome game. Uh, the Reg card is in here. Everything's in here. And I was definitely happy to pick this up. Super mint copy. Super nice. And the big boy was Mega Man 8. Super rare game. Uh, not easy found. The price of this thing just keeps going up every month, it seems like. And uh, I got this for a pretty good deal. Actually, I got all of them for a pretty good deal. And, uh, glad I could add all these to my collection, though. Um... Probably the biggest thing I got, honestly, was at the end of the show. And uh, I got, oh, Jesus Christ, I almost forgot. My boy Frank, his brother was there and he had his dead end friends, uh, Jason, and uh, he hooked up with these two shirts. Only fat guy sizes he had there came to me. And that was the Splatterhouse one. Super awesome. Definitely fucking, I'm. I'm definitely going to be wearing these this weekend at RetroCon. I'll be at RetroCon in Philly, by the way. Uh, toy game convention. And I'll be rocking the shit out of these shirts for you, Jason. Definitely solid, solid, solid. And this is the Doom one. Super awesome. Super awesome. I want to thank you, Jason. Awesome, awesome shirts. But as I was saying, these last two games I got... Literally weren't even supposed to be at the show. I just so happened to have seen them there. And uh, I asked about them. And then they said they weren't supposed to be there. Then the vendor told me who they were. And uh, I said, well, I'll just call him on the phone. And uh, me and uh, he were, him were able to work out a deal. So I want to say thanks, David, for these. Awesome hookup on these. Um, pretty mint. Disser mint. Um, just two games you don't ever see. And they seem to just keep going up more and more. Um, one of them is Rule of Rose for PS2. These are 100% complete. Uh, supposedly super sought after. Uh, I'm going to try it out, see how I like it. I heard the combat system in this game is garbage. Uh, but the storyline is pretty neat. So I'm definitely going to check this out. 
in this game I've never seen before. And uh, Super Mint, and that's Kuan. Another survival horror game. I heard this is actually really, really good. And uh, I want to thank Dave for hooking me up on these and his boys that were there for mistakenly taking him out of the truck and letting me see them. And, uh, yep, that's all I got from uh, too many or uh, ABGC this year. Uh, definitely a great show. I did great there. Uh, I can't wait for next year. I'll definitely be there next year without a doubt. Uh, I want to thank Mark for letting me stay at his crib. Uh, let me play all of his games, taking uh, all my money in poker the one night, and yeah, that's all I got. So, um, like I said, I'll be at RetroCon, that's in Oaks, PA this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday. I'll be going down there Friday. Uh, come by, hang out. I got all, I'm bringing a lot of shit there. Uh, so, uh, I hope to see you guys there, and uh, this is Neo Gino. Keep smashing them buttons. See ya.